This is a story about water, a story about pure, clear drinking water. At home, it comes out of the tap, which we think is the most natural thing in the world. Over a hundred years ago, there were major problems in the Netherlands. Contaminated water caused epidemics of cholera and typhoid fever. The city councils of the time had sewer systems built to get rid of the stench from the areas of standing water. And clean water needed to be provided. There was clean water available below the sand dunes along the coastline. For centuries, rainwater had been filtered by the fine sand and deposited in the subsoil. Sandpipes were erected in cities and from 1900 onwards, private homes received their own water supply. And this is how the South Holland Dune Water Company came into existence. Pure, clean water from the dunes was a gift from Mother Nature. But the world changed and the Netherlands became increasingly prosperous. Everyone consumed more and more water. There was no longer only one water tap in the kitchen, or the weekly bath, or the traditional Monday washing day. Prosperity increased water consumption, and in the course of time, too much water was extracted from the dunes. The natural stock of water under the sand dunes was therefore, and still is, being supplemented using already purified river water. This is the Dutch River Meuse, which has been dammed up. Here, on the border between the provinces of Brabant and Gelderland, river water is collected. The water is first put through micro sieves, making it unnecessary to chlorinate it. Chlorine used to be added to prevent, for example, mussel and sponge larvae from attaching themselves to the inner wall of the transport conduit. The micro sieves have such a fine structure that they retain everything and anything larger than 35 hundredths of a millimeter. After being sieved, the water is sent to a pumping station at Berg Ambacht, where it is further purified using sand filters. Then it is sent via large pipelines to the dune area between Monster and Katwijk, some 55 kilometers away. There the water is led into filtration reservoirs, where it slowly sinks beneath the dunes. The layers of sand act as natural filters. The water is kept under the dunes for about two months. River water has to meet the very strict quality standards set by the government before it is permitted to be filtered into the dunes. We're all very careful about conserving this important area of natural beauty. The dunes are very important for a company which produces drinking water from sand dune aquifers. But collecting water does sometimes have an adverse effect on the dune landscape. For this reason, the South Holland Dune Water Company pursues a very active policy of nature conservation. A number of filtration reservoirs have ceased to function and water collection has been dismantled. Natural wet sand dune valleys can therefore be restored to their former glory. Rare and valuable flora and fauna can once again flourish as before. The aim is to collect water from the dunes, but from a smaller surface area. This can be done, for example, by using the method of deep filtration. This means that previously purified river water is injected at a very deep level below the sand dunes. The South Holland Dune Water Company aims to maintain the right balance between collecting water and the natural environment. In the busy Randstad, the company offers people many recreational facilities in nature. After about two months, the water is pumped up from below the dunes. But it isn't drinking water yet. It first needs to be filtered in a number of ways. Powdered carbon is added to make the taste of the water as pleasant as possible. The water is also softened. The parameter of 13 degrees DH is reduced to 8.5. Here's a little more information about this. 
In the water softening system, the pH level of the water is increased. This decreases the solubility of the calcium ions in the water. These attach themselves to the grains of sand that have been suspended in the water. Thus these grains increase in size and weight and sink to the bottom where they are removed. Softened water leaves the system from the top side. Softer water picks up less lead and copper from plumbing devices. This is better for public health and for the environment. Soft water has a number of advantages for the consumer. Here are three of them. It is better for household appliances and therefore saves money. You need less washing powder. The laundry is softer and retains its color better. And it leaves less chalky residue on glass, tiling and taps. The processing is complete. The water from the dunes has been purified and turned into safe and reliable drinking water. We are responsible for quality. The quality demands imposed on drinking water are regulated by law. The supervision of this is in the hands of the Dutch Ministry for Public Health. Water has to meet many different standard requirements. Substances such as lead, copper, nitrates, nitrites as well as fluoride should not over a long period of time have any adverse effects on public health. Hygiene is of course also of vital importance. Hence there are rigorous standards for bacteria and other organisms present in the water. Any problems with colour, clarity or the taste of water would lead to consumers making complaints. This is undesirable and should be avoided. The quality of drinking water is monitored continually, not only during the purification process, but also when it is distributed and when it finally reaches the water tap at home. At all stages, water samples are taken to ensure the requisite water quality is maintained throughout. Quality assurance standards are subject to change. For example, the lead content of drinking water has been drastically reduced as a result of the amended European drinking water standards. For this reason, the South Holland Dune Water Company has, over the last 10 years, replaced all its lead pipes with plastic ones, among others. At the moment, the last lead pipes are being removed from the water distribution network and are being replaced using pipes made of other materials. The South Holland Dune Water Company supplies drinking water to 1.2 million inhabitants in the western part of the province of South Holland. All of our staff is dedicated to the same aims. Special monitoring programs and state-of-the-art methods are used to manage and maintain the drinking water network as efficiently as possible. That network consists of thousands of miles of water mains. Being able to supply all our customers with drinking water 24 hours a day, 7 days a week without any interruption means that management and maintenance activities are vital. As a consumer, you can blindly rely on the quality of the drinking water we supply. In our country, we see this as the most natural thing in the world. In many developing countries, people cannot imagine this. The lack of uncontaminated pure water in those parts of the world is one of the major problems still to be overcome. The South Holland Dune Water Company makes an active contribution towards ensuring that clean drinking water is available in as many places as possible. A story about water never ends because the world is always changing. Everything changes and so do the tasks and responsibilities of the South Holland Dune Water Company. One thing remains constant. Supplying clean, pure and safe drinking water is and will always remain an exciting challenge.